Hey everybody, hopefully this is a pretty good video. I'm outside because it's so sunny and pretty and my house is kind of kind of dingy and dark. I thought this would be the best way to get this on video. This is the Space Sword. I've already measured it. It's 27 and a half inches long total. It's got the five gems. We've got the red in the center, two silvers. They're they've kind of got a, a tinge of aurora borealis to them, but it's not overwhelming. They're they're pretty well silver. And then the blue and the gold gems on the outside. I use a lot of metallic paint for this. Obviously, it I ideally I would have used silver spray paint for this. But instead, I used a silver acrylic nail polish. In the future, though, I will be using silver spray paint. It's just that the spray paint I had was not very good. But I do like the nail polish because it's got a lot of sparkle to it. It's, it's pretty awesome, to be honest. And then I just used a Krylon spray paint for the handle. Now, the entire thing... Okay, the blade is wood. Now... You'll notice it doesn't have the wood grain that a lot of my wood stuff tends to. I coated this in a fiberglass resin. And then I did the same thing for this. This is not wood. It, it has wood inside of it, kind of just to give it some more oomph. Uh, but it's Sculpey. I, I did it all out of Sculpey and baked it. And then I didn't stop there. Um, like I said, it does have the wood inside, then the Sculpey overlay. But then I coated that in fiberglass resin as well. Here we go. So the entire thing is coated with fiberglass resin. So yeah, it's heavy. I'm not going to tell you that it's not heavy. But I don't think it'd be any heavier than, say, a real sword would be. Um, it is con-friendly. I did only put the rhinestones on one side, and it does not come with the red blade sheath. But this will be up on Etsy, hopefully today. Today is, I think it's the 15th. Might be the 16th, May 15th or 16th, I don't know. But yeah, here's, I hope you can see the entire thing. It's up too high. I know there's a shadow in the way, I'm sorry. All right, I would love your feedback, as always.